The Anglican Church, one of the mainstream in Papua New Guinea, wants all churches to unite and help the government better administer the country. That's from Archbishop Clyde Igara, marking 100 years of the church in Papua New Guinea. Mark Kayok reports. The St. Joan Anglican Church of Papua New Guinea celebrated 100 years of teaching. and spreading the good news in the country. This was a milestone achievement for the church after waiting, working and witnessing the spread of the gospel. Celebrations were held at the St. John's Cathedral, formerly known as the Church on the Hill in downtown Port Mosby. Hundreds of church members from the five dioceses in the National Capital District and throughout Port Mosby attended. It marks the dawn of a new era for the church and especially Christians. The history of St. John's Anglican Church relates back to the early discoveries and the introduction of Christianity by the early missionaries in 1873 to 1914. The first St. John Anglican Church was built on the 23rd of February 1915 and was dedicated to the patronage of St. John the Evangelist. Some of the historic relics of the early missionaries are found at the St. John Cathedral. Known as the church up on the hill, it was mostly used for worships and the Holy Eucharist by Australia and New Zealand soldiers during the First and Second World War. It was later named as the St. John Cathedral. Christians were reminded that Papua New Guinea as a nation begins with the church and must continue to abide by the gospel. The celebration is important as it allows Christians to reflect the past and improve in their lives. Now, I think the celebration is important in that we see our past. Did we do well? Or are we just not doing well and when we are not trying to do any better and our membership is flowing away our people are losing problems have been bombarded you know our people have been bombarded with issues the archbishop went on to say a real heart is not the flesh it is the spirit that must be nourished to face the challenges of what the world throws against us Archbishop Igara reiterated that living a godly life is a key to every success, urging churches to work in unity and help the government to better administer the country. You know, as we celebrated this morning, I think my encouragement to the Anglicans are that we need that unity of the body for the common interest of our nation, Papua New Guinea. The churches must come work together. The leaders will take to the have to take that lead, that we, we, come in, we come together, we are leading our people to come, come together. Uh, maybe we pray together, but it is more than praying and speaking, it is doing things together. Bishop Denny Breguka emphasizes that we will lose everything unless we seek God's guidance and live by His principles. I think that's the challenge, and as we celebrate, uh, the centenary, that's the message I want to give to uh, not just Anglicans, but us Christians. We must live the gospel we preach. Uh, because that is what uh, no, Jesus said, you know. He said, he said, those who follow me must love me. Yeah. Because the world will know uh, that we are Christians by our love for him and love for one another. And if we focus on Christ, the, the compassion, the love and the care that he, he gave to the church and that and the church upholds if we live by it i can we can see a lot of things 
the centenary celebrations coincides with the Holy Eucharist, remembering the body and the blood of Jesus on Calvary. He was giving his life. So every time we break the bread and share the cup, it's in honor and remembrance of what Christ had done. What is Christ's life in us? And also we give our life, life to Christ. Our life in union with Christ is renewed and strengthened. So uh, the Holy Communion is central in, in Anglican Church. The celebration also brings about a new challenge, allowing the St. John's bishops and the clergy to sit down and correct the church through its ministry and future endeavors. Mark Kayok reporting there. This is PNG Tonight after the break. A report on internet policy and filtering.